Well, squad member Rashida Tlaib is blasting President Biden over plans to build a new U.S. embassy in Jerusalem. She's claiming the proposed land in the heart of the Jewish state does not belong to Israel. And our very own Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen joins us live from Israel with Tlaib's wild claim. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, everyone. The State Department is moving forward with plans to build an embassy in Jerusalem, Israel's capital, as recognized by U.S. law passed in 1995. I'm standing right now in the mixed community of Ariel. It's in Judea and Samaria. Tensions here, yes, arise between Jews and Arabs, but for the most part, people coexist peacefully. On Tuesday, anti-Israel squad member Rashida Tlaib tweeted, I'm outraged that the State Department is moving forward with plans to build a U.S. embassy in Jerusalem on land stolen from Palestinians. By doing so, the U.S. is complicit in the illegal confiscation of Palestinian property. President Biden should reverse this Trump-era policy immediately. Tlaib is referring to an unfounded claim by a former PLO spokesman that his family owned land on one of the proposed sites for the new embassy, a desolate plot barren for decades known as the Allenby Barracks. The Biden administration is also considering a new larger embassy in Arnona. At the current Jerusalem site, President Trump moved the U.S. embassy to in 2018. David Parsons co-authored the Jerusalem Embassy Act of 1995, sponsored by Arizona Senator John Kyle. He believes Tlaib is upset the Biden administration is affirming President Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of the Jewish state. It's just bringing out to the fore something that the U.S. is quietly working on to build a bigger building here for the embassy, whether at one site or the other. It shows the Biden administration is buying uh, into this, and, and it shows once again, as President Trump did, that building an embassy building here or moving the embassy, it's not going to blow up the Middle East, not going to blow up the region. The Jerusalem municipality has already published detailed blueprints provided by American officials for a diplomatic compound on the Allenby site. The Biden State Department hasn't confirmed those plans publicly, but it has said that the new embassy will be in Jerusalem. Last week, Tlaib called for stopping U.S. financial aid to what she describes as Israel's apartheid government, which has Muslim representation in the parliament and the high court. She also reiterated her claim that Israel is an occupier, despite the Jewish people's ancestral presence in Jerusalem, its capital, set out by King David 3,000 years ago in the Bible. Alex, back to you. Daniel Cohen, thank you so much for that report. Really appreciate it. Sure. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. Your retirement funds are being threatened with even more losses from record inflation, recession, and skyrocketing interest rates. Fortunately, the highly trained specialists at American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. If you call them right now, it's a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order, so don't wait. Call 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532.